Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead Survival of the Origins update. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support you left on the last episode. I appreciate it so much. And just like I said, you guys were to be deciding if I should use face cam or not. And here it is guys. Face cam will be now available on this series. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited for it. By the way, I am using new lighting. I have an awesome new, uh, whatever it's called. I'll show you guys, maybe, you know what, maybe I could just, I don't even know. You know, I'll show you guys later on, if anything, I'll throw a picture on there for you. But it's awesome, we have new lighting for the face cam, and uh, I'm just excited to get this series going. Don't forget to hit that like button, let's go see if we can reach 200 likes so we can get episode 3 out. And yeah guys, let's get started in today's episode. By the way, you guys just, just destroyed the like button in the last episode and just showed so much tremendous support. So, with that being said, I appreciate it, and oh my goodness, no, no zombies, bad, oh shoot, bad zombies, very bad zombies. Alright, so... Uh, you guys can't get in because you don't know what's going on, do you? <laughs> this is actually kind of good. But right now we're fighting off some... Oh, oh, snap. As you guys can see, some of these walkers are actually really difficult to kill. And I think... Oh, shoot, where are they coming from? Oh, gosh, this is bad. Okay, we're actually going to be having to, uh, you know, get ourselves just the heck out of here. So we're going to just shoot some of these zombies uh, apart here. See, this guy didn't die first shot. So, uh, and that guy too. So there are some harder uh, to kill zombies, which is always going to make things interesting. Also, I'm going to be taking off the Juggernaut suit because, as you guys can tell, the moment... Oh, shoot! That was a quick zombie. <laughs> as you guys can tell, the, uh, you know, moving quicker is just almost impossible. And those zombies are moving pretty quickly. We're going to rag ourselves up before we die here. Back off, back off. Oh, my gosh. This is actually intense. Uh, sorry, zombie. You got to die right now. There we go. Rag up, rag up, rag up. No, 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 no. Okay, we're running. This is actually really bad right now. We gotta get the heck out of here because we're being chased by tons of zombies and we could die in just a second. So, uh, this is not how I intended everything to go. Please slow down, please slow down. Okay, you're good. We're off and good to go. I think now we're healed up. We're just gonna run for our lives. Guys, I did not expect this to happen just right off the bat. So, as you can tell, if you don't have armor, you're kind of in big trouble. So, we're actually gonna go find some place to settle down, hopefully, in today's episode. If not, we're gonna still search a few more, um, you know, places, find some more supplies. But it's kind of about time to find an area to settle down in. <coughs> Apologize if I'm still coughing, I am still a bit sick, but I'm just getting out of everything, so, no, not a ghost. Alright, this is actually really, really difficult to survive now. If I do lose saturation in food, I'm pretty much doomed for, for quite some time right now, so, that's always a good thing. Uh, so let's, let's, let's find a place. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. Zombies, please, relax for a second. Alright, we're gonna go in, uh, this is bad, we gotta get ourselves pretty much out of here. So, we're gonna jump on here. And we are just going to hope that no zombie can get up here. And we're going to eat some food, whatever we have here to eat up on. Not going to be too good, but it looks like the zombies are just down here. We can manage these zombies um, unless a, our melee weapon does break. But I think we do have... Oh my gosh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is actually a good amount of walkers popping up here. So this is definitely not going to be the base that we're going to be living in. As you can see, this is a heavy-duty zombie um, because he's just difficult to kill. And that guy's probably an easy kill. Same with these guys. I think the heavy-duty zombies are the slower ones. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to test my luck with this dude. I'm just going to hit him. See, he's impossible to kill. Look at that, guys. Insane. All right. Sorry about that. We're back. And... Oh, no. Okay, this is bad. Uh, actually, this is really not good. Uh, melee weapon. Melee weapon. Melee weapon. Okay. Nope. Don't drop it. We need it. Okay, back off, zombie dude. Sorry about the coughing again. It's... I am sick, and I just need to get this video. Die already, please. Jeez, this guy's not dying. Look at this. This is the heavy-duty zombie I was I was kind of afraid I would run into. So, that dude is not friendly. I repeat, that dude is not friendly. Sticky key, how you doing, my friend? All right, do we have any food I stored here? No, I do not. All right, steel bat, we're going to replace that. And, all right, uh, okay. Let's just get some food because we are not doing too fresh on food right now. As you guys can obviously tell, we are a bloody mess right now. <laughs> so, uh, uh, finding a place ain't going to be too easy right now because thinking about what we just went through, not a good not a good time. Not a good time. Definitely not a good time. All right, there is a freaking ghost chasing us. This is not what I was looking forward to, ghost. as a fast zombie. We are actually living on the edge. We have one heart. So, if you guys are just tuning in now, then whew, awesome, right? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We got to find ourselves some food. 
and get ourselves a regening ASAP because if we don't, we will die. I repeat, we will die badly and it's not what I want to do right now. I actually kind of want to live a bit longer. So this is actually not too bad because we're actually kind of, you know, moving along and we have to move along. All right, that ghost is still really motivated to kill me. So uh, not going to deal with that right now. What is that right there? Okay, no idea. Please be something in here. Is that ghost still following us? Oh my gosh, he is. That's actually kind of scary. All right, he's still following us. Are we allowed to get in here? Are we allowed to get in here? No, we're not. Okay. Uh, what's up, zombie? Oh, sh Yeah. What's up, zombie? <laughs> no, we died. Ah, oh, come on. All right, I forgot. We're one heart level. Uh, that's not good. So, that just happened. Uh, we got wrecked by a quick zombie, so that's always the threat right there. All right, that's fine. Not a big deal. We're gonna go out here and we're gonna we're gonna go in and find ourselves a place to live. It's time to settle down. I'm kind of sick and tired of running and walking. So uh, we're gonna find ourselves some more supplies. I do not know where we just died. So this is actually kind of not too good. Now I'm actually really curious to know if supplies respawn. If they do not, then we're in for an interesting uh, situation because if that's the case, then we're going to have a really rough time actually gathering supplies. It's just going to push us to go and explore further and further, which is not bad, but it's going to make it difficult to gather supplies. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I'm motivated to find some supplies. I definitely see nothing around here. So I'm going to have to go through the winter biome and I hopefully don't have to settle down in the winter biome, but we'll see where that takes us. Um, and all right, let's just keep going and see what we can find around here in the winter biome. Now, I'm not expecting much to be honest with you guys because I know kind of that the winter biome is just a bit more difficult to find supplies and in general find buildings, but we're gonna have to deal with it and just see what we run into. Now, it'd be kind of cool to build. Oh, wait, there's actually some uh grassland here, so we're probably not in worst shape actually. Um, you know, we can always find maybe a building or something around here to probably scout out, get some supplies, and then for the most part, just go and find a place we can actually just establish ourselves. I've been explaining that for the past few ep or last episode more than anything is the fact that I want to go and build ourselves a fort. Now, this is something I want to get some opinion in the comment section is what should I build for our fortress? Because we definitely want to build a fortress. But as you guys remember from season one and season two of the Crafting Dead Survival, we pretty much built a prison similar to the Crafting Dead. Now, as we all know, since then, the Crafting Dead has changed a lot or the Walking Dead has changed a lot and uh, it's pretty much a bit different so what should we get inspired by to build I want to know from you guys in the comment sections this place has loot it's a good day there we go that's what I'm talking about so yeah let me know I was thinking maybe we can do something like the kingdom from the Walking Dead season 7 this is actually a really good tower we got a lot of supplies from here uh, just no melee weapon but it's okay we did get some decent gear that I can actually use for my benefits. So that's actually not too bad. But like I was saying, you know, they have the kingdom in the new season seven. They also have Negan's type of base, which we haven't really explored yet and seen in The Walking Dead. We only saw the area where you know what happened. I don't want to do any spoilers, but that's the only area we've seen with the, with the caravans and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want me to build off of. I want to be inspired uh, from The Walking Dead in this series. That's my goal. So anything you guys see in The Walking Dead that you want me to build in this world, I will definitely do my best to do that because as you guys all know, I'm a big Walking Dead fan. And anytime I can get an opportunity to just establish more Walking Dead stuff in The Crafting Dead, it makes me really happy. So uh, I actually really like this area we found because it breaks away from the winter biome and it really has a cool cool look around here. So I'm thinking we're going to establish ourselves in this area for the most part. We haven't explored here yet and that's always a good thing because you know that's going to allow us to get some more supplies and kind of start off in an area that we kind of like. Now first of all this base here stands out a lot because there's water right in front of it so it separates it like a moat. Um, not really like a moat but kind of that idea. Uh, where you kind of have to get across. Oh, we got a sporter, but it's gonna be cool because then we can actually build a bridge and I'm oh a cleaver There we go. I like it. That's good. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh camel helmet I like that better to be honest with you So my idea here is actually to probably make this my base if anything and expand But look we can build a bridge bridge going across there, which is something I think would be kind of cool So, uh, let me know what you guys think about that now. I wonder I think I can actually open canned food with any other melee weapon. I cannot. 
that I thought used to be a thing, but I'm mistaken. It's not. Whatever. All right, let's go and dig ourselves into this building here. Looks like there's a lot of dirt, but I know the ways around this place. So we're going to find ourselves the supplies we so desperately need right now. So let's let's go on and explore. Alrighty, but for the most part, I'm really really tempted to uh, you know build some type of uh, Small base that's going to be inspired by having like an RV and a campfire around there That's kind of what I'm gonna go for uh, For the first few episodes and kind of for the first base as you can see we are gonna settle down probably around this area But I'm thinking of just kind of first of all building something inspired from The Walking Dead and I think that would be kind of cool and that's plus I think you guys would like that a lot as well so that's what we're gonna go for all right there we go golf club you know I really need some food right now that I can eat there we go tactical candle uh, it's tactical open tactical bacon of course good stuff uh, all right let's actually not worry too much about clearing this out we need to get upstairs because I know there's some more supplies we can gather from here any walkers definitely not helmets Guys, this is actually a really perfect spot to build because we have a tower right here and another tower and that only means one thing. We can probably attach them all together. So that's giving me a lot of cool hopes and dreams right there. That's pretty cool. I like it. Ideas are popping in. We got Desert Eagle as well, which looks really sick. Uh, all right, let's gather this material here. What is this? Empty morph or empty syringe, which is actually not bad. Being honest, uh, it's good if we find RBI and if we can make a cure from it. So that's always a good thing. Now, I'm pretty sure there is some type of loot. There it is. All right, we got empty soda. Not really going to do us too much here. But this is actually perfect. We can work with this, guys. I'm really happy with this base. I like the fact that we got water in the front, a river going by, and the fact that we got a lot of buildings actually kind of attached to everything around here. So that's going to give us opportunities to attach to this awesome building right here that we have multiple towers of. Okay, that's a quick zombie. We're going to have to actually take him out. Is the dent? Oh, the entrance is right here. Nope, nope, not happening. Okay. That was dangerous. Med pack right now. All right, med pack it up. I think we're good. Nothing up here. Guys, this is an actually an awesome area. So, oh, RBI, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. So now we have plenty of areas, uh, plenty of uh, help for curing. But guys, look at this. Honestly, take a look here. We got our main base, which we can connect with a bridge. We got a tower connecting to another tower, which we can uh, build an actual bridge connecting it. And we also have another cool base right down there and these little uh, abandoned areas. So that for me, it's a bonus, guys. We're going to definitely settle down here. I think we found the area. So I'm more than happy. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, I definitely want to hear your your ideas as well. Now, what is this? Oh, this is a riot helmet. Okay. Uh, that brings back memories with Glenn and his riot suit. Ah, good times, I guess. Better times. But uh, whatever. We're going to keep going here. We need. We actually do need food. Um, okay. Not too, not too good. But I think there's... Oh, there we go. Gilly mask not too bad. I think that's everything we can get from around here now I'm really worried that we might actually run into a few zombies here Of course, it's not the worst scenario because we do have some gear, but I'm gonna book it. There we go All right, okay. We actually got a lot of them around here. We're not a big deal We're gonna be able to get around for certain. I'm actually gonna go in here and check what we got. There we go Is it is this place is empty? No, it's an empty base. That's actually not a big deal. Um, alright, not not too big deal. We're gonna drag them all across here. Come on, zombie dudes. Oh, we even have a house. Guys, this is the best possible location for our base. I'm not even joking. This is this is beyond awesome. Alright, let's see if we can attract them here. And we can slowly just annihilate them. There we go. Guys, this is the best way to do this. Just one by one, slowly. Slowly but surely, you're gonna get this horde killed. Now, this is a herd that they actually added. They actually, you know, all attack at the same time. So, as you can see there, that was quite intense. But we took care of it. We managed, guys. We're professional here. This is how we deal with things. Oh, okay. Not like that, though. All right. Let's go in here. Block that off. Gather supplies. We got some seeds. That's always a good thing for ourselves because we can start a farm, which we do need uh, to get ourselves established. Sledgehammer. Guys, that is the weapon I always enjoy using because it's just really awesome. Okay. We got a backpack. Making progress. I was waiting for something like that because now we can store anything we just collected. And it's definitely going to make life easier just keeping all this stuff in there. So we'll just keep that there. And we are doing pretty good. I'm not going to use an RBI cure yet. All right, more food. We need a can opener, guys. I could definitely use a can opener right now. Going to make my life a bit easier. But, you know, we'll just see what we could do right now with everything. All right, uh, we got one guy there slowing down. All right, let's branch out. 
Okay, we got this. Med pack, run. Okay. Okay, we didn't attract the horde yet. But uh, I'm sure that... Okay, there they are. I'm sure that we're going to get more of them pretty much uh, walking towards us here like they are. Awesome. Great. We're going to actually take them out of here. Uh, we do have a fast zombie right after us right now. So, oh, they lost track. That's pretty good, actually. That's actually working for us. All right, let's keep looking around. We're going to actually do a full circle around here and uh, see if we can find anything. These guys don't even know what I just did. We just juked them so hard. This guy knows what's up. Actually, no, eh, no, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He's chill. Oh, come on, dude. I thought you were going to be chill about everything. All right, that's fine. Nope, there's a herd right there. I want to get to the tower right across there and just see what else we can find. But guys, this is the perfect location because we have flat land right here. That means we can build our RV-inspired campsite, which I really want to do. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, no, 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 lo no loot over here. Uh, all right, that's not a big deal. I don't think there's anything even around this place. All right, that's not good. Not a big deal. Did we just attract... Oh, this is just this dude. This is... Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. All right. Uh, now we're low on food. This is this is a concern. This is a major concern now because I actually need food. If Zombie, come down here. Come down here, boy. I need to teach you a lesson about me when I'm hungry. I need food. I need rotten flesh. Oh, gosh. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. I apologize about that. We got fast zombies right after us. Sweet. Okay. Back off, dude. Back off, back off. Alright, how many zombie kills are we at? Okay, 13 zombie kills. Not too bad. Okay, this is the heavy duty guy. As you can t tell, he's harder to kill. Alright, let's go on top of this hill and see if there's any supplies or food for us. We are actually starving to death. Alright, I don't know why they removed that update, but I'm pretty sure there was uh, where you could actually open food with a any melee weapon that you can, can kind of have around you. So... I don't know what's up with that. I'm hoping there's some type of small fort just around here. There is a prison. We're going to go walk in that direction. We're at one bar right now. We are actually in major threat. So we got to keep sure or we got to make sure that we don't die here. Um, and I, I'm just struggling. So I'm really hoping this place has something for us here. All right, please be some food. I see something there. I don't know if it's a zombie. No, that looks like supplies. Is that a walker? No, it looks like supplies. Okay. No, we attracted some zombies. All right. We just need to get in here. We got to fortify everything like that. All right, what do we got here? We need food. We need food right now. We are not here to mess about. I don't need rope. I need food. I need food. Build up, build up. All right, I did see something here. All right, we got something here. Let's please be food. Please be food. No, not an ammo vest, even though that's really sick to have right now. I'm not really looking for some ammo vest. All right, we got one more tower down there to check out. All right, let's make it. Let's go, guys. Come on. Don't die now. Please go. Please keep running. <laughs> this is intense, guys. I don't want to die because I love this location. Probably going to take a screenshot of the cords just about so I do not, if I do die, I know where to go. Please be some supplies here. No supplies here. This is bad. Oh, gosh. This is really bad. Actually, no zombies yet. They don't know I'm here. I can jump up here. I'm probably, guys, going to do something smart. Not really, but I'm actually going to go book it to that place. We are dying. No, we do have a med pack for emergencies. We're not dying quickly, though. All right, I see stuff on this place. This can be our hope. We have a med pack for emergencies. This is it, guys. This is our final hope for food. All right, please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. All right, food, food. No, water canteen. I don't need that. I don't need that. I need food. Food, 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 food. No, no. Okay, Uh, blood bag. Let's go. Let's go. Fix yourselves here. Please be a last hope. There's got to be something. What's this? What's this? No, I don't need rope. What is this? Oh, please. Please. Yes, rotten berries. Okay, guys, we're in good shape. We got rotten berries. I don't know if that's going to help us. Oh, all right. All right, guys. Use this med pack. This is intense. We got to make it to those towers. Get some supplies ASAP and end off today's episode without dying. That's the hope, guys. That's the dream right now. We do have tactical bacon, but we can't open it because we do not even have can opener. Like, why? Why am I through this? All right, I do see lo some loot here. Um, all right, I don't see any zombies. I like the location. We're back in the area we used to be, kind of. Guys, we just been... Oh, thank you. We got some corn. Feels so good to eat some food. Oh, man, that's been a while. All right, Santa hat. Not going to really need the Santa hat. All right, zombie, what are you doing there? Back off, zombie. And what is it left here for us before we end off today's episode? Blood bag. It would be nice to get some extra food. No. What's this here? And some bolt cutters. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys all hit that like button. Don't forget 200 goals. 
200 likes is the goal. Um, so if you guys want to hit the like button, that'd be much appreciated. We're going to go back in the area we're at. I'm going to take a screenshot of the cords right here. Bam. Now I know where we're going to be. So we're looking good, guys. I'm excited about how this series is developing. Next episode, we will be building our base. So let me know down below in the comment sections what I should build. What's the inspiration I should go for from The Walking Dead. Peace out. My name is Alexon and stay foxy.